What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Weir and this is my review for the movie The Tomorrow War. This is a movie that wasn't on my radar at all. I heard it was coming out on Amazon Prime. I've recently gotten Amazon Prime and I was like, all right, I'll check it out. But I have no hopes for it at all. I skipped every preview. I went into this movie blind. I had no idea what it was about. I was just like, hey, this, this is a rare opportunity for me to go into a movie blind. So I made sure I didn't watch any previews. They didn't play any previews in the theaters the last couple of months because this movie was going to Prime. So I just skipped it. I knew Chris Pratt was in it and that was it. And I was pleasantly surprised. Let's do the review. Well, it's nice knowing you. the movie The Tomorrow War is directed by Chris McKay and stars, like I said before, Chris Pratt. And this movie is a very close, similar idea to the movie Edge of Tomorrow. Not that that's a bad thing, because I love Edge of Tomorrow, and they use time travel in that movie a lot. They don't use it as much in this movie. They use it, not as much. But let me give you a synopsis, and then we'll get into the rest of the stuff. The movie opens with Chris Pratt getting a disappointing phone call. He's at a house party at his house. His daughter's there, his wife, and he gets a disappointing call when he comes in, and he says to his wife, I know I'm meant for something, you know? And he sits down on the couch, and they've got a soccer game on, and they're watching it, and boom, this portal opens in the soccer game, and he's troops jump out and they're like hey we needed something we knew the majority of the world was watching so we picked soccer which makes sense because not the whole world's not watching football basketball but a lot of people like soccer so i get why they did that it that made sense but they're like listen 30 years in the future there's a war happening aliens came to earth we don't know how but they're here they're killing all of us we're losing all our troops so what we need for you guys to do is to figure it out no, that's not how they say it all. They say, what they need you guys to do is to send all your people to the, the, the future and help us and so we can get, kill these aliens over there because we're losing our troops. I don't know why they didn't just... But whatever. So they send people to the future to fight for the Tomorrow War. So from there, the world bands together. The world says, listen, they need fighters. We're going to send people. But we can only send people who won't be alive 30 years from now because people's timelines can't cross, which is time travel movie logic whatever so they have to only take people that will not be alive later so if you're gonna die in the next couple of years so then we could send you 30 years into the future no problem so they're sending sort of the older generation to go fight and the problem is after they send all the military after they send all of the former military now they're just down to the regular people the you and me's the, the school teachers and that's exactly what happens to chris pratt uh, he is a science teacher and he gets selected and you don't get a choice in this. Basically, they tell you, hey, you have to report. So you report and they say, hey, by the way, today's the day you're gone, see ya. And so he has to go fight in the Tomorrow War and they jump him to the future and oh my God, that's a cool scene. It really is. When they have to go to Miami in the future, there's some really cool stuff that happens. I'm not trying to give you guys a full play-by-play. -play. I like to give you a, a small synopsis of the movie so that you just are interested in seeing it, and then go on from there with my likes and dislikes. So without wasting any time, let's jump into some things I like, some things I dislike, and I'll give you a rating. First thing I like about this movie, I enjoyed the, the storyline. I, I really did. I thought it was a cool idea jumping 30 years into the future. What's the future look like? Well, you get there, and it's destroyed. I mean, Chris Pratt lands, and he's... Uh, it's bad. I also liked in this movie the monsters. There's somewhere, and I've heard a lot of people say this, there's a comparison there. There really is a comparison between the Edge of Tomorrow aliens and the aliens from A Quiet Place. It's like if you if you put those two together, the horrors of those two, because the Edge of Tomorrow aliens were just kind of too fast to really function, and then the Quiet Place moves so slow. I mean, they're fast, but you know, when you see them, they're like, ah. My point is, between those two monsters is basically what you get, but they do a good job. There is a stairwell scene that is terrifying. I was watching it, my kids were walking around. Again, I didn't really know what I was going to get into, and the stairwell scene happened. I had to pause it, like, eh, it's kind of terrifying, because it was. It, this this monster, it looks down, it opens its jaw, it's, it's scary. It was a good scene. But yeah, I like the alien design in this movie. I like the alien plot in this movie. I like that they didn't know where they were coming from. 
until later on in the movie, but I, I won't spoil anything for you guys. But I like that they didn't know where they were coming from. I also like two of the main characters in this movie. Chris Pratt always does a great job. You know, he's one of the Marvel guys. It's just how it goes. And he did a great job doing his thing. He wasn't too Chris Pratt where he was Mr. Funny Man. I think he actually showed some range in this movie, which is different because, again, he's kind of the funny man in most of the stuff you see him in. I also really enjoyed J.K. Simmons in this movie. I thought he was funny, but also I liked his character. He was kind of this, this guy living alone, living away from the government, trying to stay away from everything not getting in the fight and he was like this before he wasn't just scared of the fight he was in battle before and so he had PTSD and he kind of stayed away from the family and so he he kind of stayed away from Chris Pratt and Chris Pratt's daughter and Chris Pratt takes that serious and he didn't like that um but uh you know they come they have a good storyline good story arc without spoiling it they do and I really like that about this movie the thing I like about this movie I'm gonna throw a spoiler alert up for you just kind of skip forward in the video a little bit if you don't want to know but there's a they find a ship in a cave and I I like anything that has to do with storyline having to do with space and it was really cool because basically all they know about is earth right and then they say oh aliens came here 30 years from now so where are these aliens from we don't know but but what they do is toward the end of this movie they find a spacecraft that had frozen into the ice at some point in time but because of global warming uh, the ice caps melt and the creatures are released from their hibernation essentially but they weren't necessarily destined for earth or were they and if they were destined for earth who sent them it's really cool it's a really neat idea and i really liked what i saw because it gives the idea that there could be future installments of this movie giving you a little bit more history on those monsters or who sent them to earth did they crash land here what's the situation we don't know but i liked what i saw my only real major disappointment in this movie because again i wasn't expecting much so i got a lot more than i probably normally would have but my disappointment in this movie is when he goes into the future and this may be spoiler so spoiler warning again and when he goes into the future he meets his daughter 30 years later and she is a top scientist and she's leading the fight because Chris Pratt didn't you know make it and I'm not going to go into those details but the point I'm trying to make here is they spend a lot of time going over details and uh their relationship and trying to mend their relationship between Chris Pratt and his daughter just so she can send him back in time to make sure this timeline never happens she doesn't make a lot of sense. And then toward the end of this, when he's about to get zapped back to the past via his big wrist thing, he is, before he's zapped back to the past, he makes up with his daughter completely and tries to save her life. And it's like, this timeline is never going to exist if you just do that. And if you go back and you don't do it, then this timeline is going to exist. And want to be a forever loop? I don't understand time travel in movies. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. The point I'm trying to make here is that's the only part of the movie that disappointed me was they just didn't need to go into such depth that they knew they were just going to send him back in time because she goes, that's the reason I brought you here all along. Well, if you brought him here all along to go back in the past and save things, then why are you going through the motions of so the movie can have heart? Honestly, that's why. I thought it was kind of just not needed. Could have cut 30 minutes out of the movie easily. You don't turn your back on that, man. Otherwise, this was an enjoyable movie. This was a fun time, and it was free on Amazon Prime, so why not check it out? I, I think this was a good time, and I look forward to any potential sequels in the future, which is nice to see a new property kind of give me hope for that, that, hey, in the future, you don't even have to use the same actors. That's what's cool, too. I mean, I liked Chris Pratt, but this movie was sort of the idea that you could just say the Tomorrow War 2 or whatever you want to call it and put new actors in with new storylines, with new ideas, and it'll work. It'll play. And I like that a lot. Because of that, guys, I got to go ahead and give the movie this rating. That's right. The Tomorrow War was an unexpected good time. And that's my movie review. Guys, if you enjoyed this movie review, hit the like button. If you want to share this movie review with your friends, make sure that by hitting the share button. If you've seen The Tomorrow War and you want to put your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below so we can talk about it, I love going back and forth with you guys. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that by hitting the subscribe button because I got a lot of content coming your way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.